Hey guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here, and today we have a new release. We got the 2019-2020 Upper Deck Trilogy, so let the break begin. Just want to say welcome back to my channel and today we are breaking the 2019 2020 upper deck trilogy um, it is a new release um, and because i live so far away from north america i did have to get wait for this to arrive in the post so it's finally here and i finally get to break this open um, i am very excited about this product uh, i've been looking forward to trilogy for a little while just because it is one of my favorite sets out there um, not my favorite, but definitely one of the top ones. Now this year we got Wayne Gretzky on the cover. We got three different versions of him here. Um, the one that's missing is the one when he was playing for the St. Louis Blues. So <laughs> I'm not sure if they just want us to forget about that part. I'm not sure, but uh, pretty cool looking cover here. And if you want to have a look at the odds, that's all presented here. Now there has been a slight change to the trilogy set this year. So in the previous uh, three uh, sets, we've been getting eight packs per box with um, four cards per pack. But this year, that's actually shrunk a little. As you can see, it only has six car uh, packs per box, and you still get the four cards per pack. Now, the other thing to point out is we used to get three hits because everything, you know, likes to play in threes for the trilogy. But this year, we're only guaranteed two. And on top of that, it's not even guaranteed that it's an autograph. So it's actually two autograph or memorabilia cards. So sounds a little disappointing, um, but I've been watching a few other, other breaks online and everyone's been getting pretty decent hits. So hopefully this will turn out to be all right. So let's get started. I'm gonna bring the trusty knife out. Oh. Hopefully I don't damage this too much. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open here. I always like doing this with the hobby box set so you get a good view of the whole thing here. So let's start on the left side and see what we can get. I've seen some People have some issues with opening these packs because they're sealed pretty nicely, but it's always, the trick is always to look for the soft spot. Now, I know there's a huge focus on rookies this year, so especially with these uh, rookie renditions, and um, they're not the best looking cards, but they're all right. And the first card we got here is Noah Dobson. Um, he actually scored his first goal not too long ago, and it looks like I already spoiled one of the hits already. Um, so that's the back of the rookie renditions card. That's Noah Dobson of the Islanders. And I guess our first hit of this box is Zach Sinitian of the Boston Bruins. Number 42 out of 499, so that's one of the, I believe, uncommon ones. Not sure why he's getting so much attention because he's currently buried with the Providence Bruins, not making too big of a splash at the moment, but at least it's a pretty decent looking card. Um, so it is a player worn jersey patch. Not the most special one because it's just a single color, but uh, it is a level one rookie premieres, Zaxination. We got a cardboard here and Connor McDavid. And that's the base card of Connor McDavid. So you do have the gold foils around, looking quite similar to last year's set in terms of the base set cards. It still looks very nice. I quite like it. And that's the back of it, showing a couple years of stats as well. Now it'll be nice if I can get a Connor McDavid rookie card from another set, but we'll see. All right, next pack. All right, top part's not as easy to open. Let's try the bottom. No, this one, oh no, found the soft spot, okay. Okay, looks like we got another decoy in this one. First off, Brad Marchand, who fanned on the penalty shot not too long ago, which was an embarrassing way to lose the game, but uh, Brad Marchand. 
We got Carl Grundstrom, another rookie renditions of the LA Kings. I believe he was part of the, uh, I believe he was a second round pick, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, look at that, rookie renditions, Carl Grundstrom. Decoy, and we got a parallel of rookie renditions for Oliver Wallstrom. At a seven ninety nine there, the red parallel, and lastly we got Mark Stone. Last pack. Oh, notice the uh, styrofoam just to uh, hold up the packs to make it look a bit fuller per box, but it's really not that full this year. So only got one hit so far. So hopefully we get one more, or if I can beat the odds, maybe two more. All right, we got the base card for Jonathan Taves. We got a rookie renditions of Max Jones from the Anaheim Ducks. Another one to my collection, of course, as a Ducks fan. And uh, we got a level one rookie premieres for Eric Brandstrom to number 999. So that's one of the more common ones, but still a very solid rookie for the Ottawa Senators. Um, Alexander Barkov. Okay, three more packs to go. Let's see what we can pull off this time, right? There we go. There's always a way to open these, hopefully without damaging them, of course. Another decoy in this one. We got John Gibson. Very solid goaltender. Unfortunately, the Ducks are struggling a little bit this year. Oh, this is a good one. Rookie renditions, Quinn Hughes. That's a very solid pick right there. He's doing very well for the Canucks this season. Would have been nice to have the autograph, but uh, <laughs> that's a good start, Quinn Hughes. We got another rookie renditions parallel. This one is for Nico Sturm of the Minnesota Wild at a 7.99, red parallel. Just so that you get a better look at the back. And Mitch Marner. Second to last pack. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. All right, that looks like a decoy, so maybe we'll see. We've got uh, Captain Leaf, John Tavares, Jimmy Schultz. We got a Slightly more rare rookie renditions. I think it's the uncommon one of uh, Nikita Gusev out of 399. That's a blue parallel. All right. And Thomas Hurdle. All right, last pack. And since I haven't gotten my second hit yet, hopefully this will be it. Oh. So for some good luck here. Okay, cardboard cutout, so it might be just a rookie renditions autograph, but we'll see. We got Brock Besser. Rookie renditions of Zach McGewan. Nice! Now we got a Victor Olofsson rookie premieres autograph out of 199. But it is a sticker auto, it seems, but still a pretty nice pull right here. He was doing very well for the um, Buffalo Senator, uh, not Senators, Buffalo Sabres, <laughs> my bad, uh, until his recent injury, uh, which is unfortunate because he was doing very well. And uh, it looks like the Sabres have sort of fallen off the tracks at the moment. So it might be another missed year for that team. And lastly, Kate, Clayton Keller. Well, that pretty much concludes it. Upper Deck Trilogy 2019-2020. So at least I got an autograph, even though it wasn't guaranteed. Um, so it's not too bad of a set right there. I'm, I am tempted to get another one at this rate, because I do like the product in general. Um, so yeah. Well, that pretty much concludes this break. Now, if you do like what you see, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. 
I do have more videos up in this corner and down here for you to check out. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. So click on that button there. You can fo also follow me on Instagram at Silver Zero Breaks. I do post pictures of past polls or even ones that didn't quite make it to video. So definitely have a check of that as well. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.